Callista FP. All right, EG's winning. It is currently the Medio Sneaky Show. Wear Welcome. a double lift. I'm tired of listening to these two losers talk. <laughs> Where's the third loser? What the fuck? Maokai support again. Or I guess it could be jungle. It's a flex. Maokai has already been played in three roles. Double lift. What do you think about this? You're trash, kid. You're trash. That was a really good impression. I actually had to <laughs> see if he was not there. You're trash, kid. <laughs> wow. What? You don't like my impression? Very, very spot on. Well, the true Dibbleth impression would be to talk endlessly, but I don't think I can handle that. I don't think Holy I have it in me. <laughs> I don't think I have the power in me. Oh my goodness, he actually went and did him like that. <laughs> Dude, the funny shit. When he's talking about Valorant go streams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, dude, I was, I was actually watching streams, and you know, I just saw that you just don't actually have to talk, and it's still good content. Yeah, like I. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew when he said that you were gonna say some shit. <laughs> it was too fucking funny, man. Oh my god, the timer's all fucked. Fuck you, Sneaky. Oh god, Sneaky has to actually do something for once for this shitty stream besides talk to medios. Uh, oh man, it's. I can't wait till Double Lift gets here so I can just go back to playing Lost Art with Discord. Deafened. Only my stream can hear it, and then every once in a while, I'll, I'll undeafen and just repeat <laughs> the last thing that was said in a stupid voice, and then go back to playing Lost Ark. Yep. Figured out the secret code. Alrighty, Nar from Robo, looking pretty oh. good for him. Able to grab a bit of an advantage in that lane phase. Also has. Uh, I bet you people just take comment on Aatrox because it's like extra dopamine when you hit that Q. You hit the QE and then you see the little comet fly at him and you're like, we fucking got him, boys. Sure. 15 extra damage. Pretty bad, but... I mean, maybe it's a NAR matchup thing? Just NAR things? Why did they do it against Keenan? Holy fuck, he has 5 CS? Dude, what a rough matchup. I don't think this dive works. Why not? Because they don't do any fucking damage. I think okay, Comet never mind. <laughs> Impact! No! Did he actually play that like a human being? What could he have done different? Uh, not gotten fucked in the ass? He flashed the Wukong stun? Oh, wait, he doesn't have one! Loon! Nice. <laughs> I think that's part of what Impact wanted to pick that fight because the wave is so big. Who's gonna win? Uh, you betting on a website? You dumb fuck and you need the pro's advice, the sage Impact advice? Is legitimately getting milked in this matchup. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Impact played it fine, did he? Yeah, he played it really well. <laughs> I mean, I like the part where he fucking died. <laughs> Half HP start, they both walk up, slap his ass. What are you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> Just fucking die, I guess. Four shrug. Shrudge. Actually, did you add shrudge? Shrudge. Uh -uh. Nope. S H R U G E. Shrugga. Wait, that actually works? Well, how, is Croc just the most insane ganker or what? <laughs> Wearing his Crocs. Oh, Moo Moo. All right, Inspired salvaging that play. Croc getting onto both side lanes early on the map, having a very good showing. Four Shrug is actually trash in comparison to Shrudge. Shrudge. Shrudgy. 
be okay. No mana on the Victor, really, to threaten and kill. Yeah, first strike gold looking good, but Jojo actually feeling fine as far as total XP goes. Interesting. If you hit six early enough, you that's not bad. On Tichinones, but Tichinones should have that timer in the back of Add it. Head. Give 250 Added. available emotes. Good. Add it. Oh. Wait. Is he just fucking dead? Nope. Ah, uh, Tarek's UOP. Malkai is OP. Tarek's actually too broken. Malkai's actually busted. You saw that Tarek heal for 60? It's crazy. I saw Malkai. Giga out playing everyone. Unless your timer's fucked, you're 7 seconds ahead of my YouTube stream. Get bad internet, dumbass. Owned. L plus ratio. L plus L plus L. Wait, is Brand's dead here? He has so many spears up his ass. Oh, wow. He gave it to Inspired Karizo, homie. Yo. What's up, guys? Yo. Yo. What's up? Are you still at dinner? How's that game going? <laughs> still at that dinner. Holy shit. It just started. Egg is now winning. I mean, it kind of been the whole time. But not by much. Wait. They're winning? Last I saw, they were not. They were doing the opposite of winning. Anti-winning, you would say. I don't know if I would call it anti-winning, but... They were Let's looking see. to try to win, but they were not successful. I see, I see. Let's see. How am I going to do this? Impact got his ass cheek clapped under turret by the robot. Emidios said Impact one. played it so bad, right, Emidios? What the hell? No, I said he played it really good. Wait, why would you say that, Emidios? You said that Impact played that like shit and he's washed and ugly? Yep, exact words. Just call it how it is. <laughs> he calls him like he sees him. <laughs> Holy shit, 10 Oh, really that's a fat MF ult! Wait, oh my god. Uh, how did 10 literally not the die? fattest MF ult. How did the 10 man not get killed? Oh. MF is really good against Kalista. Why? She just has a long range slow, which uh, annoying for her. And then in face-to-face uh, -face fighting, well, this is not that much stronger. Just like a long-range like slow, like a single-target fucking Q that does damage. Just like attack speed steroid. I mean, yeah. the way EG engaged this was kind of weird. It was, it was good on Victor, who had no flash, but like, they actually just opened themselves up to getting a Mumu MF wamboed so fucking hard. I think if they had the Terra call earlier, it would have been okay. He, he did it reactionary though after their alts. Yeah, you have to create the vault. It's just so delayed. Holy! Dude, I actually I think Tarek is one of the best designed like defensive champs because his alts actually like there's gameplay on both sides. Like he has to play it well, and the other team can react to it. Can you imagine if his alt was just instant? No Fucked ramp up. up, like that'd be so unfair. Yeah, like Kale doesn't exist as well. Alright. <laughs> Sneaky's coming to the day. Oh wait, you guys can't hear Sneaky? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but they can hear Medios or what? <laughs> can you guys hear him now? Testing? Yeah, but what about media? Oh, oh dude, sorry. I've, I've had Sneaky Force muted since yesterday. <laughs> How is only I muted? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think they couldn't hear either of you guys because oh, I'm using okay. application capture beta like uh, on OBS. I don't know if you've tried it. But it allows capture? you to listen. Mm. Yeah, it allows you to like listen to stuff and then play certain programs. Like yeah, mute yeah, it. Yeah, and, yeah. That sounds convenient. Wait, that sounds giga. Instead of the hoops. like listening to game sounds and casters. I currently have that set up where I can do that, but it was just so way more you hoops. Just, you just literally say add. At the at the bottom sources application capture you put Discord in so your stream can hear Discord and now you mute desktop audio so it's not playing to your OBS but it's like obviously you can hear it like two steps really simple 
the stream you made, right? Oh, like, that's cool. I heard it was due to like uh, concern from the sponsors because they cannot monitor all of the world streams. But I imagine that's only a problem because they like sold the broadcasting rights to worlds to like certain people. I don't know. But who are certain people isn't Riot just broadcasting themselves? That's a good point. I actually don't know. <laughs> it does seem like they're broadcasting it themselves, huh? Oh! Oh, Jojo Pune! Oh, he's, he's out, he's out. Oh my god! Wow, Akali just traversed the entire map faster than teleport. Jesus! Yeah, cool. The fuck? Oh, Ceos is dead, 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 dead. The CEO of S. Did that stopwatch S. actually do anything? Rock dead. No, didn't. How do you guys feel about them making it so you can't double stopwatch anymore? Like, if you have Zonia's and a stopwatch? Good. Fuck that. They should have just... I don't understand it. They should have made stopwatch 75 gold and just infinite. <laughs> like you can hold, like, two stopwatches like pink wards. Yeah, you you have two wrists. Why can you only wear one stopwatch? I got rollies on both wrists. They can make a pocket watch that costs half as much, but Dace is half as long. Dude. He's so cool. With half the cooldown? Okay. can respect that. I like stopwatch, and I think it's fine. I understand, though, that people can get frustrated. Wait, he, he asked about double stopwatch. Oh, um, that shit was fucking cringe. Really? Okay. Yes. I mean, you Five can only do it seconds. once per game. Yeah, no, but you can only like, do it once per game. The, even the existence of it was just fucking stupid. Double uh, fucking I'm, stasis for five seconds? I think your the role people play also probably affects their impression of stopwatch because like I don't think eighty carries get fucked by stopwatch at all. Like your consistent damage. If someone stopwatches, you just go back to hitting him afterwards. But if you're like a Zed or someone who's just gets full cucked by stopwatch, I think it's pretty annoying. Well, I, I think I think that makes sense. But in higher level play, stopwatch fucks eighty carries because like the really really big threat stopwatches in your face, and you don't you're not gonna move past him to hit the next closest guy, and you also don't want to just stand there. But like you end up just standing there AFK for multiple seconds. Yeah. Um. You know, like a Vlad, for example, you're not just gonna like walk past him because he's in pool or stopwatch. So it does affect eighty carries. I just think. Yeah, I mean, well, it affects everyone, but I'm, I'm just saying. I think of the classes of champs in the game, it affects oh. AD carries less than oh. yeah. other shit. Almost died insta. Wait, did he just port out instead of try to ult and fight with his team? Hey, good choice. One HP. Holy shit, he was one HP. Yeah, but then he just came back. He's like, "Yo, I'm back, boys." <laughs> oh, was... big ulti doing that no damage. The ult. Wait, Brantz, wait, what's wait, going wait. on? Wait, Dude, they're gonna, this weird, they're this winning weird. this? Oh god. Are they winning this? No! Oh, Rubble, shoot the Q! Egg. Oh, impact, no! Impact, no! Impact, two! Are they? Impact, no! I mean, let's just flash. Wait. Oh my god. Wait, he, oh my Kari god. didn't get it. Kari didn't get no! the, uh, oh! he didn't get the Terracle team. Oh my god. Dude, I thought we were going to be Germany today. Uh. This is not working out. What the fuck, There's bro? There's no fucking way that just happened. Watch what happened with the Terracol T. Kauri got griefed. <laughs> I didn't see. What an insane start for, for Ichi, though, and then they just overchased. Who the fuck called for this chase? Who the fuck? Wait, MF fucking took the portal out? <laughs> yeah, she she ditched instead of trying to fight, which, and then, and Sneaky said, good good idea, because she's 1 HP. Understandable. And then they, yeah, I would hate people to ult them through that choke. They yeah, I, sent it right here well, I mean, so the, hard. He, he couldn't see over the wall. Like, Aatrox a easily could have just sprinted at him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually agree. He should just get the fuck out. This is funny, This has though. not been a good game for Impact. All right, let's see Terran. Go yeah, play. Watch this. Ult. Yo, Cow Oh, no! <laughs> wow. I thought he was in it, to be honest. Like, Yo. there was, like, a little effect on there him. There was two overlap. He was, like, Venn diagrammed on two circles, and then both of them just ran forward, and he's out. 
What the fuck? That's funny, man. That's funny. He actually would have uh, killed Wukong if he if he took the ult. I think Light Rocket two carries that fight. Just saying. Oh my god, I, Light Rock two is the biggest dumbass in solo queue. I actually hate that guy because he types so fucking much and like he's good, but he's actually just he's such an idiot, man. Oh, my stream is exploding. Ooh. Jojo Pune on a Giga flank. Spotted, though. Uh-oh. Impact, Impact. dude is cutting it out. They can get the dragon. He's zooming oh. in the foreign, but... This actually looks like it could be good for Egg. Go, Egg. My god, Vulcan's getting zapped. Wow, well played by Egg there. Get the dragon and get out. Is there anything Maokai's busted? What makes you think that? Because he's OP. Is he fucking... What does he do? Oh. Tanky, CC. Oh. Good vision control. Doesn't even... Nars unkillable. Yeah, he's so tanky, dude. He's totally not gonna die right here. It's literally a demon, unkillable demon king. Mm -hmm, oh! Mm -hmm. oh, oh, give it the cavalry, dude. Okay. Let's go, egg. Loud Over on the other side. What the fuck? Oh my god, light rocket two going to him. What is allowed dude. doing? Let's go. What? Let's the fucking go. Fuck? <laughs> They're fucking griefing everywhere. Let's go. We take Let's those. We take them. Oh, that Q almost hit Mr. Croc. Yep. Oh, he's. Oh, or did it? Oh. Let's fucking go, Egg. Who the fuck do you think made that call? Let's let's go distract and bot what we do, Baron. <laughs> fucking. And we all die everywhere. <laughs> Get Guys, I know we're ahead <laughs> with a front to back, really good team fighting comp, but hear me out. <laughs> it's time to fucking throw this bitch. What the fuck, bro? There's no way. Well, I mean, the, the way this started, it wasn't like that was their plan. It was like. Nar goes for the 1v1 on Aatrox, Jojo insta-TPs in, Victor's late on the TP, and then Kauri rotates first, so they just die. And then they're like, yo, there's everyone's bot, let's fucking hit Baron! <clears throat> yeah, but like, the everyone's bot, let's hit Baron thing is... Oh, that, that part troll. was certainly troll. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure starting up Baron against Maokai is, like, one of the worst ways to start a fight ever. Victor Ult doesn't this is move why we don't side lane. America flag clappy mode. Never touch a side lane. Mm -hmm. Bronzil doesn't know about the NA RAM. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Oh, I'll be back after we start PC, I think. Be back. Okay. 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 So to me, I feel like bruisers are way healthier when Sterix is their like team fighting item rather than Death Dance. I think mm. Death Dance is like way more toxic, snowbally, unkillable status than Sterix. Yeah, I, I think they're both pretty cringe. W why Sterix cringe? Like when it's OP. I'm done counting. I never really had an issue with it. I feel like it just lets bruisers go in, and like they get a big shield, but it's like a one-time use thing. It's not infinite sustain. I don't even remember the fucking unkillable demon kings that were created from that shit. It was so cursed. Like, yeah, just become a fucking golem. Like, you get so much AD out of it. I mean, I think it was probably overtuned, but. No, yeah. they made it a steaming pile of dog shit. I mean, yeah. Like, I think it needs to be balanced. Like, it was disgusting before when everyone's building yeah, I mean, it. I'm, I think anything that's going to, like, horrifically overtuned is not going to feel good for anyone, but... Yeah. I just think, like, the concept of it, to me, is way healthier than Death Dance, where Death Dance is literally just, like, 
really fucking OP if you're ahead, kind of whatever if you're behind. No, yeah, I mean... Wait, hold on. Fight. Where's the Terra Oh my god. Oh, they don't have it? That's getting Wait! No! Jojo Pune got fucked. Inspired's in, though. Jojo! Wait, I think they win? Inspired's legit killing everyone. I think they win. Yeah, I think so. I don't think Nar kills their whole team. I mean, dude, Akali got insta banked. Maokai is bussin' bussin'. For real, for real. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he's not Mega. Oh, baby. Wait, that's actually weird on the, the UI. When he went Mega, I think it, like, refreshed the cooldown to show, like, like a new circle. But, like, you couldn't even tell how soon it'd be up. Wait, Jojo got fucking owned that fight. I know. Oh, but yeah, the... I, I don't think the iteration of Death's Dance we currently have is pretty gross. Like, you reduce all damage taken, but, like, you know, it's dealt to you over time. But, like, if you get a takedown, you cleanse all of that damage. Which is just... Yeah. Fucking insane. Uh, and, and it literally heals you, like, besides just cleansing the damage. Yeah, I was talking to August about it in his stream recently, and he didn't really share my view on it, which was weird. What do you say? He was saying that, like, he thinks Death Stance is, like, healthier than Sterix, because he's like, yeah, he thinks, like, you know, bruisers should have to get ahead to be useful. Huh. Was basically what he was saying. And he's like, and Death Stance, like, makes you have to, like, dive in and kill someone. And, like, I didn't really agree with, he was, with what he was saying, but I was, like, listening. I mean, in theory, that makes sense, but, like, does it really need to be this iteration of it? Like, you could still reward them for getting a kill, but, like, why in such a heavy manner? Yeah, I, I just don't like snowballing mechanics. Like, I think anything like Death Stance Triumph is actually just making the game way more snowballing than it needs to be. I think the game's always mo most fun when it feels like, you know, you can always win or lose. Like, you have to keep playing well. And, like, if even if you're behind, there's still a chance to come back. But when there's things where it's like, okay, well, you know, this guy's literally unkillable now. This game yeah. just feels fucking pointless. Most of the time with Death Stance, it's like the guy's ahead. He goes in, he dives, he's taking dick loads of damage, he gets a kill, he's unkillable. He just will not die from there on. You're just going to heal too much. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't agree with the philosophy, but that is what he said. You're not necessarily that strong before you get it. And then you're like, oh, fuck, I got my distance. Like, now I'm really strong. I mean, obviously, I think it's too OP, but... I, I guess kind of like IE build path as well. Like, you're not crazy strong until you get it. Oh. Let's go, EG! Let's go, Egg! <laughs> Finally, Egg takes the first win of the tournament. Hopefully not their last. Egg is going all the way, baby. Let's go! Dude, I actually really like this meta so far from plans. Like... The champs that are being picked and just the way it's playing out. I feel Not like it's a barely... Enchanter. Yeah, I mean... Ha has there been a boring game yet? There was yeah. one, like, kind of slow game yesterday, but... There were definitely more boring games than the other ones. I mean, but it is, like, based on the teams. Uh-huh. Like, if you have two not very strong teams in theory... And then one's beating the other, like it's a boring game. Yeah. But if it's a close game between those teams, it's fun. Yeah, I, I feel like League, if I was a designer in League, I think one of the most important things would just be making it feel like either team can still win at like any point in time. Anything that's like, you know, if, if I hit this point, I can't lose anymore, I think is like not fun.
I guess the only problem with that would be like you go too heavy on it, then you just fucking like you never really feel like you're winning. Get your advantages yeah. and they just mean nothing. But I mean, yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's a balance, of course, yeah, with everything. But I think as a philosophy, that's fine for sure. Yes. Test. Yo. Oh shit! My mic was fucking doomed until now. Um, yeah, I was about to say what Sneaky said. You want to feel like the good plays you made really mattered. Otherwise, mm -hmm. the game is gonna go in the in the way of scaling. So yeah. it's so hard to ba balance scaling and snowballing because like the highest level play, the lowest level play, it's like very different. Yeah, I just think it's a horrible experience when, like, you know, if you make a mistake early, I think yeah, you should, like, if awful. you're in a snowball, I think you should be able to end quickly. Like, I think just the thing of, like, uh, suffering, like, making yeah. someone just, like, uh, lose a game for 30 minutes straight with no chance of a comeback in sight is, like, the worst fucking gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wait, were you, were you there for that disgusting throw from Loud? Double lift? Like, did you see it? I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't see it. it was so fucking funny, bro. Like, fucking Nar went bot. He's just fighting Aatrox. It turns out into a 2v2. And then a, two, and then a 3v3. Or sorry, 3v2. Where, like, Kalista came down. And, like, Victor came. Like, Victor and Nar both died for Loud. To the three of EG. And then the other three from Loud tried to do Baron. And they all three died. To the... Oh wow, that's pretty bad. It's like yeah. they they thought like, oh, they're on the other side of the map. We can just you know we can just get yeah. barren because they're all over there. Uh, no. you, you should fucking go back in the vod and check it. It's hilarious. Oh shit, I ISG playing Ziliano. They actually blind pick Zillion. I mean, I guess it's a pseudo flex could be support. Zillion Callista sounds like it could be a pretty obnoxious lane. In the same way that Renata Glaska is, it's like. Callista can always save Zillion, and then... Yeah, I'm gonna go Zillion ahead and uh, stop else. you right there. It's garbage. Why? 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 Zillion's a fucking dog shit laner. <laughs> you never played with my Zillion? I hate Zillion. Like, laning with it. Support. It's terrible. You Even if you're sound really good, jealous. Like, it, it's just completely skilled, or based off the enemy skill. It's like enemy skill. Yes! Dodging right. bombs. How is it not your skill hitting bombs? Because that thing's not on you. Like, that that thing's, like, near impossible to land. So, when you play in Zillions, you never get bombed? I, it's not that I never get bombed, but, like, it's harder to double bomb me. Hmm, okay. I will uh, remember that. Especially against, like mobile lady carries like i don't ever get a double bomb off i mean you just have close to slow them with her rend and then you double bomb them <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> all right dude <laughs> <laughs> i knew you'd like that one <laughs> point and click 99 percent slow zillion huh oh so your bombs max rank and your easy max rank you're level 13 oh i guess we're still in lane that's crazy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and you know, before 13, this slow doesn't actually do anything. 99% <laughs> before 13? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's not a 99% slow, it might as well not even be one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, ISG's just trying to flex their whole draft. I think drafts that get carried away trying to be flexes are usually troll as hell. Yeah. Giraffe Kingdom. Oh, it's actually Z Ziliano support. Eat my dick, Sneaky. Let's fucking go. Medius is right for once. All right. Bilios, the mobile AD carry. Let's see if he ever gets bombed. According to Sneaky's hypothesis, he should not get bombed the entire game. Good. I don't see a zillion support. I actually see zillion top lane. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Weird. 
Something bugged? They're actually sending Zillion top? That's so troll. A little bit. Wait. They said they might do spell thieves. Ugh. Alright, I'm rooting against that team. Agreed. I'm back. I'm back. I'm so sorry, guys. Yo! Yo welcome, welcome back, dude. It's a busy. It's a busy day. It's a busy day. You know what I mean? Oh, so busy. Fucking busy, busy day. Br breaking my PC seven times over gets me pretty busy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that and like it, fucking. Uh, there's a hundred people over. It's a. It's an orgy at my house. A hundred people at your house? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't be able to tell. But oh, are you having the housewarming party? I, fuck, I was gonna show up, but I didn't get the invite. It must be in your mail. Bro, no, the housewarming party is before. This is the pre-housewarming <laughs> banger. Oh my god, he oh, lives. But he, does he die? Oh, oh double kill. Oh, Jelly's dead now too. Jelly's dead Where now is too. Where is he? He's fucked. They still have Guardian. They still have Guardian. They can just go crazy mode right here. He's gonna flash and try to outplay them. Oh! Wait. Wait. Wow, uh -huh. he actually lives what? that? Huh? Oh my god, wait, that's- Renata awesome. definitely played that like he couldn't die. Yeah, yeah. I felt like that too. Because he had Guardian, but he played it like he had fucking Guardian and like full HP up. Oh, oh. 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 Wow. Wait. He Where fucking he died. Do you guys think this guy named himself after, uh, the MHA character? Oh no, that's Froppy. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he may have anyway. I think he did. Oh, I see why he. I see why he. He didn't get the kill. It's because he autoed a fucking minion. Oh, dude, they had that. They had that. He's just boxed in on the bush, and they went too fast. Wait, Poppy's fucking dead. Oh, Poppy. oh no, he didn't get the grump. Oh. Did he last hit the 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 the, the, the grump? Puppy? Hecarim got it. Oh, okay, okay. Hecarim's E is always a funny coded ability. Once the dash starts, you will take that knockback. Puppy would have leveled up if he got it. What? How is he so? Oh wait, that was a level two gank on mid by Hecarim. The fuck? Maybe a moment to talk about this game. Love to hear. I can kind of understand why Victor died to that. That's not a normal gank timing. Love it. He threw it up two one early on. Set, by the way, did receive a buff among many champions. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that W. That handshake lining up the tree. Oh, I'll be back sick. The, the haymaker actually landing on Tataki because of that one going in their favor. Double lift, what did you get for dinner last night? Of Renata and uh, Aphelios. Mm -hmm. The fact that you got that um, Aphelios was... We, uh, I went with and It's Timmy and Edison and, and you think Timmy's girlfriend Aileen to uh, no Boca de Chao. It's a place that As I was saying, every I fucking world's oh, LCS slow. summit Right. So yeah, yeah, I know if I go to chat, it's good. So good. It's actually more expensive than I remember. It was like a hundred per person. Damn, but... did you get drinks? No, not even. Just ended up that way. Like, including tip, obviously, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy's just fucking dead. No, he's alive. But Jelly dies for his sins. It's actually sad. Or does he? Oh, yeah. that's close. Oh. Damn, they're actually getting smoked in this matchup. It's not easy to play Callista versus Aphelios Renata. I think Callista versus Aphelios is just fucking hard. Yeah, I mean, I, looking at the draft, I feel like ISG was just trying to be one of those teams that gets like so carried away with like flexing everything so the other team doesn't know where your champs are going, and the, then you just end up with some mess of a draft. They lit, They had like zillion set picked in their first four, and then they they last picked LeBlanc and sent. Zillion top. Oh, the second one, mm. actually. Good accuracy there on the Zillion. Obviously not the first time he's playing this champion. He's actually doing pretty it's decently, though. But as you said, Isris have a very expansive selection to choose from when it comes to their champion pick. I just realized that this guy's playing his Zillion top. I It, it like, dawned on me. Is he known for this or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yo, what? God. What I guess Zillion top fuck. is just not balanced. He plays Zillion top against Orn sometimes in champ skew. Hmm. It's actually cringe because like you have to end up playing with against the Zillion late game. 
Oh my god. Oh. They're getting Where the farmed. Where the fuck is Sneaky? I need to shit talk him. They're getting farmed. But bot lane is doomed for serious gaming. What does he build? Does he just go like Everfrost? I don't even remember, to be honest. But I think Everfrost, Seraphs, just heavy CDR probably. Yeah, my my chat says is uh, asked if this is the guy that played Teemo, and I think Core said something about that. Yeah, he played Teemo in a competitive game. Teemo. Like he just plays random shit top lane. Mm. Eight kills. And you know what? I I actually respect that more than somebody who comes from like a lower region just kind of like wants to play the same shit as everyone else but worse yeah i mean like, assuming you can just... as long as you're not picking it and just getting legit ass blasted by the meta yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean the the baseline is like play it well but then if you play a completely different set of champs than everyone else and you play it well it's like it probably gives you a higher chance of having an upset than I mean, this is what I was kind of saying a little bit yesterday about how, yeah, yeah. you get the six, you get your ult. Sticking to the meta. The, the True. If, if lanes are getting scrappy, you can get a the bet line. made by <laughs> just imagine you're fucking... you don't have to wait till six Is he to back? Oh, cross top laner and you get <laughs> fucked by Teemo. <laughs> what the? Hot Cheetos and Takis. Hot Cheetos and Takis. Oh, Jelly missed the W flash. He did. Oh. I feel like most top laners, though, like, have experience playing against Teemo from solo queue. Like, there, there's always Teemo one tricks. Yeah. Holy! Dude, they are getting absolutely what shit. What the fuck? There was a bit of an ass blasting. There's so much food in this game. There's Takis. There's Jelly. There's Beans. <laughs> If you're French, Wait, there's what, Froggies. What is Taki? Takis oh, are the... Like, it's like a form of, like, tacos. Just a cute oh. way of saying tacos. No! Oh, oh, what the, oh what the my fuck? god. Dude, this is level 8 <laughs> versus level 5. Yo, how come both times the top laners have been ganked, he's just killed the jungler? <laughs> I don't know. He's just dead. He's one, one laser. Wait, laser. Laser, laser, laser him. Laser. Please, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Wow, that's a great zillion top dive for the uh, get double killed. <laughs> I mean, this this Hecarim has the ultimate beta build. He doesn't have any damage and he's level 5. <laughs> Not quite sure what the expected result was there. You would be hoping for more than 10 Did camps you see our to be prog, dead by Fox? 9 minutes, but it doesn't seem like clown? he's farming that great. <laughs> That is literally one full clear and three camps, right? Yeah, it's it's six camps on your first clear, and then a, and then a crab, and then he farmed three more camps since then. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. He can't he can't do jack shit here. It's one v two. Uh, uh, oh. You're just making noises at this point, Sneaky. <laughs> Wait, oh. they killed him? <laughs> wow. Dude, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's just both junglers are like, yo, it's my turn to feed top. They're fucking betting against themselves, both of them. Holy shit, this shit's troll, man. <laughs> Awesome. Zillion's such a good top laner. <laughs> you need to, oh, wait, you need to calm he's going down to the toxicity, man. This really comes back to your famous tagline everyone else is trash. Yep. You need to relax. Let's come They're down doing their here. best. So oh. fucking good. From here, Grell could back out, you know, just run south, but he thinks he can win this with the zillion bomb on top. Like, the if, if I was the Hecarim in this comp, I would be playing so fucking greedy, because, like, you have to be fed as hell to have any chance with what happened bot lane. No, I, I agree. I mean, I mean, just this thinking about zillion top, right? Like, it, it's it's just similar to playing with Karma top. Like, he, it's he's relying on you to be a big damage dealer. Mm-hmm. So. Like, he, he's playing... A, a, like the way he's playing is good if his top laner is the carry and he's like Garvin. the supportive type champ but the roles are flipped so he needs to just get ahead yeah yeah i agree with that 
I mean, look at his items. He is Merc Treads versus Aphelios Gale Force. Like, he will literally die in one CC. Yep. I think Hecarim's game plan, if I was him from, like, level one, assuming lanes are stable, would just be, like, spam full clear and, like, play around mid and just try to get the Raptors on cooldown. And maybe, like, dive a side lane if you have an opportunity. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. Jelly? Good night! <laughs> Nice yeah, play. Slam, dude. That's some WWE shit. That was a sheesh right there. Dude, he actually from the top dunked him under the rope. turret for real, for real, <laughs> Skull Emoji. Oh, here's Hakarim. Dude, when you played with this guy Zillion's top, where his comms like, yo, we can dive top on every fucking wave or what? <laughs> And he was right. <laughs> and he was correct. I mean, that one worked. Yep. Holy shit. Yo, bro, I, I got the way push it. We can dive this guy. We can dive. <laughs> I know you keep dying every time we try this, but bro, this one's, th this is Actually, the dive. This guy's, this guy's pretty young, so he probably said something like, we can dive this guy top for real, for real. No cap. On God. You think those were his comments? <laughs> Yeah. He's really good at English. Like, even though he's Korean, he's like actually basically. There's all the new slang. If you think about it, tofu is actually soybean jelly. <clears throat> Dude. Is it? Well, yeah, I mean, pretty much, no? It's like. What the fuck even is tofu? It's made out of soybeans. I don't actually know what the fuck it is. Are you a soy boy double lift? Uh, I, I told my chat that I get coffee with soy milk in it sometimes, and they called me a soy boy. I agree. <laughs> Whatever the fuck a soy boy is, I agree. There was a, there was like a fake news that soy, uh, like causes guys to like lose testosterone or like gay, like produce estrogen or something. So like being a soy boy means like you're... You're super beta or some shit. <laughs> but like, that was actually debunked. It's like if you eat like a ridiculous amount of soy and like nothing else or something like that. Uh huh. Interesting. It explains a lot. Regardless. Explains a lot about double lift. I still think that Sneaky might be a little soy. A wee bit soy. Whoa! Me medium soy boy. Medium Are you calling Sneaky beta? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, not at all. So an alpha male eats, what? Cock meat sandwiches only? <laughs> meat. Big hard meat. <laughs> Sausage diet. So when I go to the coffee shop and they, I ask for alternative options and they say we have oat and almond, I should ask for cock meat. <laughs> I think so, if you want to be a real man. I think usually when they say oat or almond, they're referring to the milk. <laughs> cock milk? Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Back in the early internet, there was so many horrible memes. Like, do you guys remember Dolan the Duck? <laughs> yeah. It was so bad. Like, Pretty cursed. I'm literally thinking about it right now, and it's like, I can't believe I thought that was funny. It was like, Dolan, please, when he's like doing something really stupid. Mm -hmm. Gooby as well. Ah, no. I'm, 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 dude, I can't. I'm physically cringing thinking about Gooby and Dolan. <laughs> Spoderman? Yeah. Some troll ass names. I literally used to go to uh, like the Rage comic subreddit F7 U12. Oh yeah, same. And like, think they were so good. Boy, I mm -hmm. can't wait to go see new Rage comics today. Yep. I used to be a nine gag browser. Oh my god. I never used. <laughs> I never was a nine gag browser. <laughs> oh, it was nine gag basically Reddit or what? No, it was just like you would scroll and there would just be endless rage comic memes. Oh, okay, okay. And people could like comment on them under them. 
All I know is Reddit like shit on nine gag all the time. Like if someone posted a picture with a nine gag watermark, they would like get crucified. It was fine. I mean, just rage comics only, exclusively. What do you guys think about talking about the game that's going on? I don't really know why I browsed it, honestly. Just enjoyed it. Well, because like the the barrier for entertainment back then was so much lower like now there's endless entertainment everywhere so but back then it was like you'll take what you can get do you guys ever get a funny junk yeah yeah i never i never used it is that like reddit mm, i don't, I don't remember so. it being that close to reddit i honestly don't even remember what it looks like yeah, I, offhand. I don't if I, I saw it, I'd probably recognize it. But what was the site? Funny junk. Yeah, but like, what did the purpose? I remember this Funny name. Stuff. I'm pretty sure I went there. It looks like Tumblr, but with like upvotes. In memes. Oh my god. Aphelios is just smurfing and he's fucking dead. Oh! Yeah, he's no. dead. Oh! Damn, Jelly's actually making some nice plays. Yeah. Me Meteos eating his own words? Fuck you. What? Commit everything to finish him off. Yes, they finally get that kill, but it costs four What? Just to find him what? Who, the early blood who let Sneaky talk? What? Maybe we're in sync. What's your game time? 21. And? I don't know. The seconds keep changing. <laughs> 57. 50. Oh, it's a fucking... <laughs> Ah, yes, yeah, Sneaky syncing with his in game timer rather than the timer that doesn't jump around and shit itself. Dude, Shogun is literally shitting on them. Did you just. This last sequence? The fuck? 13, 14, 15. Dude, that Callista cleanse was so fast, it looked like he didn't even get hit by the Renata ult. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, because his cleanse was so fast. <laughs> yeah, no, he just didn't get hit. <laughs> no, 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 because the cleanse was just so good. <laughs> yeah, he didn't actually get hit. <laughs> Yeah, but he wasn't hit. It would look like that to the untrained eye. I can understand. Dude, watch. <laughs> I can I can make it down the street and back into this exact area in this exact position in the blink of an eye. It'll look like I didn't even move. Did you see what Shogun just did? <laughs> no. Tries to clear the ward, autos Baron once uh, for some reason, and then does the red Q, and just the whole thing goes into Baron instead of the ward, and he just gets junk to half. <laughs> I didn't see that. That's chill as fuck. How the fuck Can is ISG this actually win this fight? They look so fucking weak compared like, yeah, they're, they're pretty weak. What's the verdict on spilled glue chat? How much, uh, pressure they put it looks kind of useless. No flash. Can they that one shot him before he does damage? I think you, you just use peace. No. This is so lost. Just, just get out. Wait, Jelly? What? No, this is fucking. Huh? This is fucking Doom for ISG. That is a boom council for me. Hmm, council. Hmm, yes. That is actually a hmm council. Hmm, council. Hmm. It's such a weird thing. Like, I can understand why in in the time. Ever, like, nobody wants to be the guy who's like, yeah, this is fucked, guys. Let's just bail. <laughs> but then you end up just getting in a way worse situation than you'd be in otherwise. I think it depends on the team's skill level in terms of like, well, no one wants to call it, but everyone's thinking of it. And so when someone does say it, it's like a relief or is it like offensive? Like, what do you mean we can't win this fight? Because like for some people, it's a relief. Like, thank God someone called the smart play. Perfect. Um, what do you fucking mean? We need this dragon. Fight. We're so insane. I'm so yeah, I mean, strong right now. We're getting outscaled every second that we're beating this game. You don't want to fight this drag? Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I, I think those are literally the worst comps. Anytime a play is like, Oh, we 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 can't let them get this dragon. I feel like the game is fucking lost. 
Because if you can't stop it, but you also can't let them get it, then like you're just choose how you want to lose, bro. But most time that's not the case. Like you can definitely give that dragon. Like you know, you tried, you got there early, you set up, you fished for it, didn't find the engage. Just fucking back out. It's fine. Get the yeah. fuck out of there. To be honest, I was usually like somebody asked, like, who's the guy to call it on your team? Like, I was the guy that would call it, but like, I wouldn't people, I wouldn't do it that much if we were already set up. Like, it was more like a minute before the drag, I'd be like, I look at items, no one's really stronger than their counterpart, and then I would just say like, let's get ready to set, like set up a trade, because like, the AD carry is usually the recipient of the the trade, where you like get a fuck ton of farm or gold on the other side. Oh wait, that guy might be dead. Oh. Yeah, he might be dead. Oh. It's <laughs> such a slaughter, man. Fuck, they have zillion revived. Don't worry. Bro, it's too fun watching Vietnam. They're oh. just so fucking nuts. Why does he have Leandries, dude? Like, Everfrost is the zillion item. I don't know. Actually, this region is like... L is actually living up to being LPL light. It's so sad they didn't get to play for two years international. Yeah. They are too nasty. Too fucking sick with it. They really are. The Hecarim has Divine Sunder, Mirror Mana, and Aphelios has four items. <laughs> yes. And he's a higher level. I think Aphelios is, a, is like a slept on pick this, this world so far. I think he should be picked way more often than he is. What counters Aphelios? Just killing his dumbass. Yeah, I think then he's just, killing his dumbass. Then, then play Peel, or just play like full engage and just engage first. Like he's just everything. He is a strong so, laner with good scaling that has high range and like he, you can play enchanters with him, but you can also play like a Mumu Leona Nautilus type champs. Let's go in. Is is he not too vulnerable? He's he's no less vulnerable than any AD carry that goes Gale Force. Like MF. Well, I mean, he's definitely the, one of the most vulnerable AD carries. That is like undisputable. Like he will get caught more than other people. But because MF has like a lot of move speed to make it hard to engage on her. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Aphelios goes Gale. MF usually goes Kraken. I think it it evens out over time, like how catchable he is. I, I, yeah, that's true. His his weakness is definitely getting dope. But I think like. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if if he's strong in lane, I I could definitely see him being one of the best picks. Oh oh oh. Penta. 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 Penta! Holy shit, that came out of nowhere, bro. That really was like, from first to last kill, there was like, what, one second? Yeah, it between. was fast. No, nah, okay. this, this guy, Shogun. Show his guns. A little bit of a bot diffy. Okay, it was literally like a, a four second Penta kill from first to last kill. Failures looked pretty damn good that game, but they also did hard win lane, like actually just two v two killing repeatedly. Yeah. Well, inspired by Carrie's champ Q performance to play Thresh. Well, to be fair, Thresh Failures is a classic. Well, to Not be fair, quite as good as a Failures Renata though. When was the last time we saw a Thresh in competitive play? Thresh is one of the weirdest cases of being like an absolute staple for the longest time and then just somehow became shite. Yeah, same with Ori, right? I think the needle always moves forward on champs, how strong they are and what's good. Even gaming versus beyond gaming. Why do they not level one invade? We can survive. What is Vi going to do level one? Touch yourself? Like, this is so cringe. I wonder how many of these Aatroxes just saw someone else do comment and they're like, well, fuck, I don't want to be the one not doing it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Wait. Oh my oh. god, I must be behind you. Level what a game. Level 2'd up the ass. 
That was a nice gank. Am I speeding up or what? Fine. Dude, he was literally about to get level two. Oh shit. Perfect. I think I'm back. We're back, boys. Malicious, thank you. Wait, so Double are you still using that thingy? Oh! Oh! That's not even good for BYG. Unironically better for EG. That's a BG. Wait, I think it's pretty good. He's gonna miss a good amount of XP and they shared gold on that kill. But you get so much more gold for a solo or XP for a solo kill. That's true. Just this total XP is still and gold is favoring. Good Hello. show. Wait, I, don't... I don't know. I think I think JoJo's gonna be up in XP for quite a while off that. True, true. That's pretty big. Aphelios thrash losing lane to Zyra Khan. Omega. Right, it could have to do with jungle pressure. Yeah, maybe. It didn't seem like there's too much interference from either side. But like, BYG's oh. jungler could have been there, you know. Oh. That's the classic noob excuse when you lose lane. Oh, it's just jungle pressure, man. Like I couldn't fight him. Their jungler could have been here. Oh, dude, you need to dodge those. Oh, dude. Just dodge. What the fuck? So easy to gank Zai in this position. Oh, they actually see him. That's so nice. Very lucky ward. Use the mana, use the mana. Push. I, oh, this is so good for Kauri. Oh, this is so good for Kauri. It's so good. It, it actually what? is insane for him. Uh, just losing a wave or what? <laughs> but because of the timing of his recall, Zaya loses almost as much. It's like he's in a fucked position, and let's say he loses six creeps, right? And Zaya loses like four, and including one of them being a cannon. It's like that's like the best case scenario for losing, a, like a losing recall. Mm. Will you miss a cannon though if you recall in that timing? Like, look look at Zaya moving to lane slow as a fucking snail. It's possible. Like, maybe she gets XP on it. But, like, I think usually the punish for getting fucked in lane 1 HP like that is way more than just, you know, net 2 CS, net 4 CS. It's like, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, he loses, he loses a full wave. But Zaya loses a lot, too. Actually, Zaya definitely... Wait, why is Zaya mid? Zaya's, Zaya's just fucking put her pink... Uh, just walk through mid, actually. Not even put her pink. Oh, that was strange. He's wilding. In that position, you you actually just need to immediately push the next wave. I think I think I'm impressed by Kauri's like recall test there. A lot of AD carries would just stand there under turret. Yeah, that was always one thing with Laney that I never understood, like when you should just, because I was, usually when I off roll, if my lane's going to shit, I'll just like recall fast, but I see a lot of players just like edge it out, like sitting there one HP under tower trying to like keep last hitting as long as they can. In competitive play for the most part, like that's not a great idea. Oh, he uh, didn't want to wait for the root from uh, Kauri. Or actually, no, it's not that. Vulcan expected Kauri to root instantly. That's why he threw his hook that way. Has Vulcan hit a hook yet this game? No, dude. No, he hasn't. But wave is in and what's going to go to top side now it's sad it feels like so fucking sad like all right we took our turn to kill the ward but no they're going to stick around and nikai just going to stay here tp is not up for minji ulti gets rid of the wave 
pushed it in. 300 health left. And I'm oh, he oh his that ass. kick was insane. Inspired they, uh, Lee Sanders. They really do not like this guy. I mean, bot's going to get punished for that. They can outplay, maybe. Oh, no. If I six, there's no outplaying. You are pretty fucked tough. in the ass. I like that. Who dies here? Who dies here? Instantly running. And they just I expect Kauri to die. Maybe impact. Oh, my God. The TP in to instantly die. Yike. What the f What are they doing? They're just Yo, looking at him. Zaya should tank. Zaya should tank. Oh, my God. No. Shit. Holy. Wait, Yikes. wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. He got a two cancel. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. Holy. Damn. I am... That got salvaged by JoJo so hard. And BYD am... just throwing it. Just literally so staring at Thresh. They were all like, yo, you start it. You start it. No, you start it. Oh, fuck. We're all dead. Yeah. Bro, like, Zaya definitely tanks that every time, no? Wait. Yeah. It's the range even, person it's who not can even, fucking it's not even drop tower aggro. She can ult up, she can immune a tower shot and do damage at the same time. There's no way anyone else would take that. It seemed kind of like fucked up though. Like I don't even know if they would kill him. I, I mean, they waited so long. You saw that? Yeah, like they, they so weird. do it immediately. Like look okay, how long they sit here. Maybe the one thing is like, does he have enough mana for ult? <laughs> does, that, does that look like he has 100 mana here? Hmm. No, it doesn't. He doesn't have enough. No, he I mean, does, he, he wouldn't. I, I think he he had enough for ult, but probably nothing else Perfect. with ult. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, do you, you don't even need to dive thresh in that spot though. Like, I feel like diving the support is usually like pretty whatever. Bruce, back. All he getting aggro on the first dive was pretty unlucky for them. It feels like Kennen is a really insane pick against every champ. Like, he can go Zonia's, which inherently kind of counters Vi. He can... He's up against all short-range champs. Like, even Zaya can't auto-attack if he's in his interface with ult. And the enemy team is like 4 dive. So... He is yeah. great to counter that. True. It is going to be a lot on impacts. But JoJo's fed as fuck, and he's playing great, so. Fed as fuck, bruh. Oh. I'm done counting. That was actually such a sneaky right there. Norman Way, thank you. Alt has from his Lost Ark. Or piece of last thing I was said. He smiles to himself. Fuck, bruh. Oh, I mean, who's going to so respond easy. to double lift if it's not me? <laughs> it's got to be me. Not your ass. It's got to be sneaky. Me just just stay silent. That is fuck, bruh. <laughs> 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 Here, I'll, let me do the medios. All right, say something, medios. Say something, medios. Nice. Something, medios. There you go. I, I, I did it. I, I didn't say nice. anything. I got the nice, medios. Dude. Wow. I got the medios response. Doesn't make That's you feel good. That's a really good, good one. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah, wait. yeah, yeah. I've actually never responded to anybody. Else yes, I'll, I'll, I'll do the sneaky. I'll do the sneaky. Uh, say something, medios. Something medios? Dude, Zaya just ulted, bro. That's crazy. No, no, he doesn't say butthole. He just repeats the, the thing that was said. Wait, why didn't Jojo pull the feathers? Whoa! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, what is... Stopwatch. OP, 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 OP. It's too broken. Perfect. It's a wee bit broken. Davis Pepper, welcome back. Hot take, stopwatch shouldn't be a rune. There, hot, I said it. Hot take, an original idea. Hot take, stopwatch should just be a summoner spell. Nope. Is EG finally going to get their first win here? On the big stage? Egg, 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 egg. Wait. They're going to shut win. down BYG's undefeated run thus far. Egg versus BG. Actual this... chills. Uh oh, JoJo's didn't they in win earlier? fucking yeah. deep. This looks Actually, like a huge throw. You jinxed it so hard, bro. Like, are you wait, kidding wait, me? Wait, 
EG won earlier today, right? Left. Right, guys? Right. Wait, wait, they won, right, guys? I can't see the top left. Oh. Oh. I was like, because the leak server would just be in shambles again. They would have shut down Dude, I, the Reddit again. I, I the saw the site. fucking... I saw the reasoning for the subreddit going private. Yeah. What was it? It was like... After certain matches, they like lock submissions to the subreddit because it gets spammed too hard. Yeah. And some dumbass mod accidentally locked the full subreddit. Oh. I, I also like the shade that they threw in explaining. It's like you locked the subreddit every single time and they got embarrassed at Worlds. It would just be <laughs> locked down like half the time. <laughs> uh, so I believe it. It was an honest mistake. Did you see the thing Dom was tweeting about? Mm, don't think so. What was it? There's like a previous Reddit mod, like telling Dom to kill himself or something. What? It was, oh. it was fucking weird. That's probably the sanest Reddit moderator. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like that's kind of BM. A little bit. I, I literally Reddit mod. I didn't see the context though. Like it, it sounded like Dom was like talking about him or something on stream. Hmm. And then you, you can see Dom's Twitter. Like, there's two tweets of different times of him telling Dom to kill himself. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not even a one-off. It's like it's like this guy just. Yeah, it's a double. I mean, I do not like Dom, but I I think that's pretty fucked. You don't like Dom? Nope. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know what the context was. Besides that guy. That's pretty crazy. Uh, dude, I think mods who put that... Is Duality the guy? No way, is it him? Huh? I don't know, like the Reddit mod? I, don't I think so. Sounds like it. Is that guy? The guy who does all the post matches? Is that the guy who does the post matches? Uh, I think so. Because his name is so familiar because I, I feel like he does them, but... Mm. No, it switches up all the time. The fuck? Um... It's really gonna say... Oh yeah, the, the Reddit mods who have it in their Twitter bio are surely, like, they have, like, job applications and shit. It's like, explain why you would work well in our team. <laughs> well, I actually moderate a community of hundreds of thousands of people with a team, so I'm quite experienced in high-pressure situations <laughs> and collaborating with others. Deleting all relevant messages and posts. <laughs> I swear yeah, to God, I would have I would have put down my rating experience uh, if I, if I was writing a resume when I was like fucking 18. Well, actually, once in a while, I would actually be the raid lead for 40-man raids in WoW, <laughs> requiring well, lots of coordination, teamwork, and um, preparation. I feel like this shit's not that bad to put, though. Dude, there's no funny. way. Uh, there's no way a real employer would actually take that seriously. No, I mean, like, yeah, there's actual skills, not just in like raid leading, but like you know, just stuff you do in video gaming. All right, so sneak right. that guy. Sneak is that guy. What? Would you not? No, I absolutely would not. What? <laughs> okay, so what do you put for your relevant experience? Dude, not wow. Like, you literally just say, like, I'm a student. No, I, I didn't say, uh, I didn't say only wow. Okay. I, I said, like, I mean, it's wait. Like video game relevancy. Well, well, no, no, no. I, are you talking about getting a job in, in video games? Or are you talking about getting a job in, in, in fucking the real world? Like, like a McDonald's manager or some shit. Okay, we're not talking McDonald's here. Let's, okay, let's like scratch that. Walmart, Walmart. Okay, like let's, fucking, we're not talking Walmart uh, here. We're, we're talking like, wait, an, like, like a job that's not like entry level. Like, like towards McDonald's, Walmart, like... We're not talking Wait, like, you're, you're talking about getting like like a fucking like a uh, like software development job. like a C level position sure. like a C level position you're gonna be talking about wow dude there's no fucking way there's no fucking way you're putting that on your on your application to be like an executive no I I think relevant things that are relevant to what your job would be would be fine to put like obviously out of context I'm like you're not just gonna put yeah I was a raid leader like, that makes no sense. What if I'm applying to be like the CEO of like 
a, a raid leading company. <laughs> a raid and I think it's pretty relevant. Company. Yeah. I mean, it, it just sounds like you guys are ashamed of like video games. No, I'm or not something. ashamed. I just think, I just think like regular people would look at that and they would laugh and be and throw your like application in the trash because yeah, I think it's less you're, about you're, being ashamed, more about just understanding I, I, I the perception agree of it. You, actually, like I actually agree. Like, let's say you're a, you're literally like raid leading for a top fucking guild. Like, you're taking a lot of preparation. Like, you you do have to have people's skills. I I agree with you. I just think like you would never actually put that in the real world if they if you want them to take you seriously. They would look at you and be like, this basement dwelling dumbass is actually put his wow, like, I don't even know what this game is. My, my, my son probably plays this game. And then they would toss it in the shredder. I think it really depends on the employer. Like, if the, if you're applying for a job in, like, game dev, you'd probably be fine. But if you're applying for, like, at a law firm or something, they'd probably tell you to fuck yourself. I don't know how you relate yeah. it to law, though. Like, like, I don't think there'd be any relevancy to that. I, like, I don't know what else. I, like, I swear, I remember thinking of something before. Like, in terms of video game relevancy in, in like, real life skills. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... I don't think it's bad in the sense that, like, I think it is relevant if people understand it. My point is more just, like, the perception of that for most employers is yeah, going to be yeah, like, oh, you're, like, a, a fucking, too. like, you're a nerd who plays WoW. Wait, 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 actually, Lena's a C-level executive. Lena, if somebody applied uh, at your company and they ta they talk to you about their WoW experience, what would you think? I mean, look, at the moment, that's the the biggest problem for Beyond Gaming is that they just don't feel like they're up to the curve at all across the board. I mean, Minji, even though he does have that slight CS lead, still is. Did you guys hear that? Nope. Nope. Uh, she said it's not something you should put on your resume, but it's something you can talk about in a face-to-face -face interview as a passing point. Hmm. That's true. I, okay, in that case, like, yeah, like, you want to, like, feel out the guy. If he's, like, a fucking 70-year-old dude who, you know, has absolutely no fucking idea what you're talking about, he thinks video games is still, like, Donkey Kong and Tetris, probably not a good, but if it's somebody who would know what you're talking about, then maybe, yeah, I could see that. That makes more sense, put it that way. Like, not necessarily just on a piece of paper, but, like, if you're talking to someone. Uh, well, I think it's just when, so I've interviewed a lot of people, um, now, and I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, if you want people to know a little bit about your hobbies and you want to share more about your life and what you're interested in, you could totally talk about WoW, um, in kind of any context, but like not make it seem more than it actually is. And I think that there are a lot of people that do play video games that would be able to relate to that, but you definitely should not put it on your resume. <laughs> and it looks kind of like a joke. Dude, we should go work up at McDonald's for a day. No joke. That would be an insane video, no? <laughs> this is not about McDonald's. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah! sorry no. Unrelated point. Agree. <laughs> I would only do it if Sneaky <laughs> Raid led me. <laughs> Sneaky's about to fucking blow a blood vessel. Sneaky's gonna turn off all the fucking timers on the oven. Be like, oh, that's fucking cheating. That's using DBM, bro. Like, I do that shit all natty. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, sorry. Actually, do, like, totally I, unrelated, I smell I, it burning and I know it's done. <laughs> I think it'd be so fucking funny if we were just, Usually like, when the oven catches on fire, I, I know it's go time. <laughs> what is wrong with the fucking crowd right now? Why are they just screeching? Are they doing the uh, war kill kills. thing? I think they are, yeah. Huh? Not there, though. I don't like that. In general, when crowds cheers for reward kills, I feel like it's... It's like bat chesting. Yeah, if it's too constant. Uh, nothing happened in like 10 minutes, someone in my chat said. Yeah. That's that's competitive league, honestly, sometimes. But Gojo just kind of went My god. Inspired is insane. I, I was game. a member in RuneScape for like one month before I started playing WoW. And then I never, I, I got to like level 50. I was never like super into the game, but I played it a little bit. I just like the game playing WoW so much more, so I never got into RuneScape. It was just a fucking browser game, bro. This doesn't look Wait. good for BYG. 
Wait. All right, Fi is gone. Usha, Gavai is yeah, fucking dead. That was a huge cannon alt. Bet. Hell yeah, soul. Fight as hell. Oh. Ooh. What? Dude, he fucked that up really bad. There are some serious air balls going on in this team fight. <laughs> wow! Dude, he just pressed every button into stopwatch right there. Every single button into stopwatch. What was that one? That was interesting. Oh, oh did wow. you see the? He's gonna win this. Did you see the fake crowd shit in True Sight Double Lift? This crowd reminded yes. me of it. <laughs> it's fucking <Yes>. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wait, did they show how they did it, or like there just was a fake crowd? Because I knew the, there was the fact that existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it does feel like paid-off crowd. Like, what are they cheering for? It's like so decent from the game. Yeah, so it was like a fake crowd, but they told everyone it was a real crowd. <clears throat> no, they didn't try to make it even seem like it was a real crowd. But like during hype moments, they would play like sound bites of crowds cheering to make it oh. seem like there was. But the entire event was uh, online. I see. Well, like they online, showed the like empty they, they're at the like event play. yeah empty yeah. event it's like a laugh track during sitcoms yeah, exactly. <laughs> i i never realized it at the time but laugh tracks are like so fucked up man i'm surprised they're that popular how are they fucked up because it's like you're it's literally like you're laughing at your own jokes yeah like okay. if if you if you start noticing them and pay attention to it and then watch a show that has it like you you will just get fucking cross-eyed tilted. Yeah, that's right. I don't think I've actually watched a laugh track show since I was ten years old, maybe twelve. Oh, Jojo might be throwing. Oh, he's okay. Oh my God, impact! Yeah, that was a fat one. That's what you want. You want them to funnel into you. Oh, big ult. Impact Yeah, Big Bang Theory is definitely the one that people reference the most for having, like, the most tilting laugh track. Have you actually watched that? I never yeah, I mean, I, I watch a show a decent amount. Like, I've never it seen it. First coming out. And, I mean, it's not a horrible show. Like, I don't mind. I don't have anything against it. It's just like every time Sheldon talks, there's like paused to laugh track. And it just gets grating once you start paying attention to it. Mm. Oh my god, JoJo. Dude, that's What if they did to him because he just found out? That's an American win right there. Let's fucking go. Whip out the cheeseburgers. That's all American, baby. Somebody get the goddamn pizza. Have you guys ever fallen for a scam before? Ooh, there's a game yeah, delay. Actually, I did fall for a Perfect. pyramid scheme when I was like seven or eight. I was 18. My friend from WoW, like my one of my old WoW arena partners, called me called me up on like X Fire or some shit. And he like, or maybe it was Skype. And like he told me about this thing where Muda, thank you. Oh, like I'm selling supplements, like these health supplements, like protein powder and blah, 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 like protein bars and stuff for like this startup company. And if I'm going to like, if you want to get in, like I can sell you one and then you can become a seller yourself. And all you need to do is sell it to like 10 of your friends and you'll, and you'll make money back. And like, you'll make it in perpetuity. And like, anytime, like those guys sell, then you take a percentage of their profits. So it's, and then I told Travis, I was like, I was like 18 years old, right? I'd never heard of a pyramid scheme before. And I told him about it. And he's like, that sounds like a pyramid scheme. So I went back to my friend. I was like, dude, my fucking roommate says it sounds like a pyramid scheme. What's that? And he's like, no, no, don't worry. It's actually multi-level marketing. I did my research. So I bought into his thing. It cost me 250 bucks. I didn't uh -oh. sell to a single soul. And I got, I got scammed. But 250 bucks is fine. You get scammed and learn your lesson. At the, at the end of it, I was like, what the fuck? I got scammed. Hmm. So was he like also getting scammed or is he just yes, the scammer he came to me like five years later and he was like dude i'm so sorry i got you into that like i was like super desperate oh. to make money and like i didn't realize that that was a pyramid scheme I yeah like, okay. i didn't realize oopsie sorry Whoops. yeah it's sorry. one of those slicker situations where it's like dude i had no idea if i pulled the slot machine that your money would go down the i just 
<laughs> Dude, now that you're famous, <laughs> like, I feel bad for trying to scam you. And I actually want to be on good terms because you're famous. So, like, we cool? That's true. I actually, it, it, it was always uncomfortable after that. So I never really talked to him. <laughs> Yeah, that seems reasonable. What I don't think I'd just... want to be friends with someone who tried to scam me either. Dude, what if I actually have another back? story about my WoW partners. I I played with this WoW player named Main Priest. He was like a multi rank one priest in Wrath. And one day he came on Ventrilla for our usual like threes arena session and he said, Guys, I can't play arena today because tomorrow I'm going to jail for heroin possession. And I, I was Oops. like, what the fuck? And then I never heard from him ever again. I was like, what? is he trolling? Like, is he just like being dramatic? <laughs> never heard from him again. We we actually, me and Sneaky had a similar situation. I It, it might have been before you were raiding with us, Sneaky, but it was like at the beginning of the expansion where we were like trialing this new tank. And he was like a pretty ragey guy. Like he was, he got like really mad at things for no reason. So we were like, not going to pass this trial. But then he just disappeared after like a week. And then later, someone said that, like, the dude reached out and said he was, like, in jail for domestic violence or something. Holy fuck. What the... F and he's, like, playing WoW from there? No, I don't think he was playing WoW from jail. I think he, like, stopped well, he playing got, he went to jail. He, yeah, oh, I see, I see. Who was it? His name was Anoku. I'm pretty sure you weren't there when he was there. No, I don't remember that, yeah. Why the fuck would he ever reach out to a, a guildmate and be like, "Yeah, dude, I'm in jail for domestic Yeah, violence. I always uh, thought that part was my weird spot, too. By the way, <laughs> it was it, Simon was the source that told me that. So if it's fake, then blame Simon. I see. It does seem like a weird thing to admit. Like, if you were going to jail for domestic violence, like, Maybe why would you tell people that's just why? Went that way. He was like, "Yo, I." Don't really want to get into it, but I went to jail, and then like the guy's like, "Okay, but you have to tell me now what what was it?" And like, but I don't know. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah. Whoa, Kaisa, that's Dude. so crazy. I like Kaisa. Kaisa's fun. He had a pretty insane game on Kaisa earlier. I don't think Kaisa's always a good pick, and in fact, this game probably not the best, but. That champ scales like crazy. Wait, I thought everyone in Classic was Wait. like really big about not changing the game ever. It really looks like Ming is wearing lipstick, no? Maybe he is. Ooh. Yeah, maybe it's just like a red hued lip balm. It's pretty cute. Dry as fuck. I feel like we've worn more makeup in our lives than than just real like, girls. Uh, yeah, I was like, not really, actually. <laughs> girls, but... Is that what you're going with it? <laughs> no, it's just like, then people would expect, I guess. Mm. The amount of times we fucking sit in a makeup chair and get... Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's just, like, camera stuff. Like, I think anyone that's actually on cam will know that. Yeah. Oh, about this here draft, what are we liking? Uh, I like that it's a draft. Draft is very drafty. I do agree. There's picks. Uh, there's also five bands. I, I think I would rather be playing Mads Comp, personally. Mm, I want to see if RNG actually does something with Graves to, like, cheese level one or two. I feel like that's a big part of his strength. Kalia's kind of butt cheeks until later. And it works in game one. We'll see if it works here in game two. Got early pressure. Um, that's always cool to see, right? Like, there are parts of the meta reader like, oh, no, we're just ready for that. Oh. Okay, okay. So Mad Lions is pretty cool, right? What? But what? Oh, what? what a fucking that pillar. fucking pillar was, it looked like a Tilia W on accident. I think it, it looked like a spec bug for us. Mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't think so. I just knocked him up. No, it, like the pillar doesn't knock up. No, the, the pillar was literally invisible on our screen, dumbasses. Fuck you. Was not. It was. It was. Yes. It looked like it glitched out Tlia W for yeah. a sec because he got knocked back so much. I thought it was Tlia W, but it 
safe to push up. Yeah. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it to amount to anything. But they didn't even get him to flash, though. Advantage on the bot side. This is what I was like, that pillar they was so use Ghost, though. The one that tries to influence this bot yeah. matchup. Try and unlock Kaiser as well from that bot lane so he can help. That was fucking him. weird as hell. Such a pivotal part of the it was a pretty godly pillar. Yeah. True. The pillars like that are why I actually, like, really cba playing trundle and 60 ping like you'd think he's a simple champ but the difference between getting a pillar right where you want it like that and it being late and cucking yourself is real annoying uh gal might be in some trouble here Whoa. depends on how aware he is that nautilus could still be around aware aware clueless aware clueless Clueless aware. Very aware. This lane is pushing. So will there be a play? Ming is basically in range of him right now. This is straight up. is down items. He still hasn't got his re set off. Huh. They're not even going to look for that play. This is just too sus. Wave too fat. Sorry. I'm listening to the casters talk about how Trundle should have just went in there. And I'm thinking if he goes in there on that massive wave, they just lose 2v3. Hmm. If they have no wave clear to just insta kill the minions. With uh, Trundle and Nautilus. Like, they're talking about how Elio should just go there and try to blow oh. Ming's flash. And I think, like, what's higher chance is, like, they blow Ming's flash. But they also all get chunked 1 HP or have to flash out. Yeah. You're not really going to be one shotting Leona in a huge wave. Yeah, I mean, I think the confusing part is, like, why did Trundle bother sitting in the bush at all if they weren't going to look for the play. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. I mean, he's covering an option to counter gank. But if you lose 2v3, how do you lose? How do you win 3v3? That's a good point. Like, it would only matter if, like, they would have the psycho mode, right? Like, like, like if, if Leona goes in at a bad time, then he's there to counter, but... Galio took literally zero damage from that combo. That was weird. What's stopping players from using a vibrating butt plug to warn them about ganks? Dude. There's no measures in place. Holy shit. I actually tried that and the detector found it. <laughs> they scan you before you go on stage. And you had to take it out right before your match? Dude, it was... So I mean, I always play matches with a butt, like a regular butt plug in. <laughs> no competitive advantage. Am I being punished now because people could cheat? Hmm? I mean, if you can prove that it's not vibrating, then I think it's fine. <laughs> Wait, did did you guys follow the chess drama with like Magnus Carlsen and Hans Niemann? Oh, yeah. What I have realized yeah. is that even if you are literally the best player in the world, undisputed at what you do, you'll just have like a bunch of fucking morons in your Twitter replies. Yep. <laughs> like you're, no one is actually safe. <laughs> I, I learned that a while back with Faker and Lee. Like player better. When you look at Faker Stream League, like he's literally the best player. Like, maybe not at any given second, but like, th there's no one else in the running for best player all time, yes, right? Yes. And he for still gets the same bullshit that I get. So I'm just like, there's no reason to take it personally. If you're saying this shit to Faker, it's just, you're saying it to say it. True. But yeah, the, the the weird thing was like I was looking up the Twitter drama and then randomly I saw that Hans Neiman follows me on Twitter. So I guess he plays League. You better fix that ASAP. You don't want to be implicated. He, he might follow you guys too. Probably a League player, yeah. I could see down, like it's like he probably like watched the League, learned like basic strategy, and then applied it to an easy game like chess. <laughs> I really hope there's some fucking try-hard chess players getting triggered by that one. <laughs> that's good one, Medios. Good job. Oh, that's so many chakrams. Holy shit. Why are you saying Medios? That was double plug. <clears throat> that's a good one. He's just going to let those chakrams go? That was so many. Yeah, it's hard for him, though. I feel like with that many chakrams, you can literally flash in one before and kill everyone. Am I wrong? Yeah, but mm, carry on. One before. Fine. Fine. 
Dude, never mind. You're right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think like you just want to feel validated. We'll just have it your way. Fine. He he can't flash in there and kill them all. Dang, just... who's good at timing that interaction? They fucked Trundle's dick. Jesus. They really did. Such a fucking awkward spot to fight afterwards, though. Yeah. The Aatrox positioning was really good. Oh, wait. Damn, if Harold didn't Wait, fucking there, smited it. it? Yikes. Over G. Sometimes patience on jungle monsters is the most tilting shit ever. Like, Harold specifically in that situation where it has one patience, and it. Even if you're in range, if it switches targets, like someone else gets closer than the person tanking it, then it'll just full reset. It is a little cringe. Dragon also has patience, but there's no patience meter on it, so like. Yeah. Harder to judge. I don't, why does it not? Oh, well, you know, there's a really good reason for it, Sneaky. <sighs> Yen, what is it? Didn't say I know what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Niski just got ass blasted in the middle of everyone. What the fuck, Niski? Way is gonna kill him. Boom. Boom, they got him together. No flashes used. This he could have totally flashed out of that, but he didn't believe he would. He was in threat of dying. He didn't yeah, that was. Fucking believe. It was a very casual-looking death. He was just kind of standing there, and he fell over. Way oh. is so fucking fed, bro. Oh, no root. No root. No crit boot. Oh, Way no is about to have boot. two full no items. Bitches. No bitches to be seen. Wow, two full items on the 2,000 gold single item. Wow, that really qualifies, doesn't it? Well, what is this? What is Gala doing? What I said he's Gala about doing? to have two full items before anyone else has their mythic. Okay. Glorified serrated dick. Umble glaive. Dude, this guy <laughs> that item is so dumb, by the way. It is. But... Has they can 100% make it, so like, you only get the 3 damage towards while the actual Umbral effect is triggered. Alright, hear me out. It's a support item upgrade. <sighs> no. Goal. Why not? I just think it's... Like, like you, you, don't, you don't want that effect gold. in every single game? No, 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 you have to invest gold from the support item. And it's like an equal amount. So like only people that go support, like Pike, could buy it. Eh, I don't think so. I would rather just the effect not be in the game. I feel like warding and clearing wards is a huge way that fights start. And when you just one shot every ward, it's pretty uninteresting. How is mid getting gapped this hard, guys? Yeah, they just showed up ball lane, dove between two turrets, got them the full turret right there, and huge deny. Well, it's a jungle guy. Where is Nisky? He's down XP. He's down levels, down CS. <laughs> okay, so what do you say if you're unforgiven here? Mid better carry. Yeah. I guess I don't need my five plates. Mid better carry. It's a jungle gap, bro. What do you mean? Look at this. No, because both junglers were there. Yeah, but it's still a gap. Okay. You're right. Both no, it's a, it's a sub gap, dude. Graves is only this fed because Leona's been there every play. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, well, yeah, actually, I know the most tilting thing Nissy can say uh, after this game. Like, I guess if Felius just shits on Kaisa. <laughs> wow, I, I, I can't believe we didn't know. Like, if is a hard counter pick to Kaisa. <laughs> can't believe we didn't know. Graves, two full items. Or wait, sorry. Uh, two half items, two shitty upgraded dirks. <laughs> <laughs> two half items. <laughs> yeah, yeah. According in the in the sneaky world. Two shitty upgraded dirks. <laughs> yep. It's rated dirk is such a bad item and that does no damage. He can only realize how stupid he is when 
his words are repeated back to him. <laughs> Wait, why does nobody go Prowler's Claw Grave so you can get up close and personal with Giga Chat? Holy. That's actually I, I've, just got to be my new, new tech. I, I've done it before. It's fun. I've done it. Okay, a new, actually, a better idea. Prowler's Claw Ophelios oh! with red, white gun. Oh! What's happening? Uh, Xiaohu is in thinking. there, bro. He's alive. Yeah, never mind. And he's gone. Oh yeah. my god, they're on full retreat. Uh... The mad lions are getting taken out back. Okay, oh. but did you know that Xiaohu's oh. name means the little tiger? Wait, Niski revealed himself. He did. Oh, and he's killing oh. everyone. Oh, oh Niski. Oh, yo, it was worth his fuck. Damn, Holy. that was good. Okay. Niski is actually going giga. Out. Niski! Dude, what? Holy the fuck. fuck! This Xiaohu? flashing by Xiaohu is so alpha. Like it was actually like good, while at the same time being like way too preemptive. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that was good. Really? Yeah, I think it's legit just good. Like, yeah, you're gonna die guaranteed, but that's not a problem. You're fucking Galio, who cares? Yeah, actually, on second thought. But there's no fucking way Mad wins a fight that starts like that. I see it. This is Mad Lions uh, down in quite the deficit. It's RNG getting more than double. Dude, Botlane is just 50 CS ahead, pure 2v2. This is disgusting. Pure Unforgiven. 2v2. Unforgiven really needs to go ahead and review that laning phase when he lost his turret to Aphelios. I do agree. That this was is, just such a massive misplay by him. This is so fucked up, man. How can you be a pro player and be down 50 CS? 50 CS down, man, and your whole turret. We, we gotta fix the lighting phase. It was. I just really don't get bottom diff. how pros can't CS. How do they just miss CS? How do they do it? Can they just hire someone to get the CS? I mean, they're literally paid to, to CS. So how, how are they not hitting every single one? It says getting dangerously close to his first item. Graves is about to be four items. <laughs> No, it's he's about to be one and a half is it, items. This is, is this the 80 carry items. jungler switcheroo. Is it? Oh, God, yep. he missed oh. the cannon. Oh, no. Nisky. I don't get how pro players just miss cannons. Nisky, Love your thoughts man. on this. I, like, don't want to be backseating, but I would have got that cannon, but that's just me. And again, like... What's happening? Oh my god! What's happening? Dude, how come? Oh. Oh. If that you hit, that would have been actually cloggers. Wait, Wait <laughs> Trennel just rolled up and ulted Gala. Incredible sidestep on the Talia W. Oh, Gala's fucking. This toast, actually no. looks okay for Mad. Wait, what? There's, oh, it looks oh, super wow. good. <laughs> looks so good. I said it looks okay. Dude, just play. If they weren't Giga yeah. behind, I think they win that. It instantly dies to an explosion from Graves. Dude, I fucking, I fucking told you guys, though, I think Aphelios is underrated pick so far. He's actually smurfing every game. This pick. True. So fucking true. Oh, Unforgiven, so bad. Just play safe mid, man. Come on. You think if that Q hits, he kills? Yeah, 100%. Yes! Okay, you're trolling again. <sighs> yes, it kills! Yes! Oh my, wait, he's actually fucking up Aatrox with the turret. Yeah. Oh. Collateral damage. I feel like red or green white guns on Aphelios looks like the most fun combo. Just having a ton of chakrams hit someone with a Q and then just shoot them all out. Yeah, I'm colorblind. Can you uh, describe the guns in a better way than Holy colors? Holy shit. Even if you're colorblind, you still know what the colors are, dickhead. I literally don't see green. Like, what the fuck gun is green? It's, it's <laughs> the sniper, man. It's, it's colorblind. 
It doesn't look green at all. Oh. <laughs> but, okay, well, what, what, what color is Calibrum? It? I don't know. It's like a white. <laughs> no All right. Way. What, what what color is crescendo? So it looks so it looks like a sperm white. to you. It's so it's like so a white wait sperm. they look the same. I, like I don't see where the color comes from on crescendo. Like like you see the the blue and the purple on grab and inferno. Yeah. Like I I don't see the purple. What the fuck? You, you just, just called it purple. How do you? I know it's Dude, purple. When's your birthday? I. Uh, you say you're colorblind, the, but you're listing colors. The, like I don't get the, it. The glasses that Jake Paul had. I'm telling they you, it, his color blindness. Like, it's because I've known that it's purple. Yeah, yeah. Eight. But I no, mean, how does anyone know what a color is? Have you ever seen the color purple? Yeah. But just like that one's not doesn't show up as purple. Yeah, I mean it's it's shades. Yeah, like. I see. Like, you, you see how the icon, like the moon, is like a darker color. Yeah, I, I I literally have to guess what that color is. Like, I don't know what the fuck color that is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's actually common in men. Like, a, a lot of men will actually fake colorblindness for attention. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can understand that. <laughs> what the fuck? So for you, is Baron, yeah, is Baron white? Is he a white worm? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fucking cool, actually, though. But it sucks, obviously, that... Can't see it. I'm waiting for a Sniper to show up again. Calibrum. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I'm visualizing it as a white color, and it looks like a sperm. Yeah. Do you guys know the name of all the Aphelios guns? Yeah. Infernum. Calibrum. Gravitum. Chakr... No. Not Chakram, is it? Crescendum. Crescendum, yeah. And then Severum. And uh, Severum, yeah. Severum Snape? Severus Snape. Named a gun after a Harry Potter character? Real mature. Oh. No way. Oh. Wait, hold up. Oh, Leona, oh, Leona. And choke on. Is Leona not punished here? This is so punishable. Oh my god. What the fuck? Dude, I actually feel like that was an opportunity for Mad. Leona comes flying over the wall, no flash, gets trundle ulted on her W, so he's going to be made out of paper. Just needs someone to go in. Yeah, I need to see that again. That was hot. Oh, Niski! Oh my god. He actually lives? Jax is bonky mode. Jax is bonky mode? I haven't heard that one before. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Going in. He doing a big bonky oh, right now. Fucking what the died. fuck? He got yeah, owned. Yeah, he's bonking him hard. <laughs> he got fucking murdered. <laughs> Bar done, Siggy. Well, wow, actually, Armut is still pretty strong relative to the game. He's like two items. Everyone else in the enemy team is two to three items, but like his teammates are pretty weak. I mean, he has most CS in the game on his team. Yeah, he's he's doing he's doing pretty well. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, just just watch Leona. I feel like he should have died for this. Yeah, he should have. Kaiser had a pretty big hesitation. Look at his pathing. If he was just there, ready now to watch hook unforgive up him. That. Watch him get analed. You just... Oh, auto! Oh, oh my it was a Graves ulti. I see now. It yeah, like it was, was both. Only... Yeah. Yeah, it looked like it was only the Belios. It's actually like, I feel like nobody would expect to die like that. That's such a fucking uh, random yeah. way to die. It is. It is. We're just literally dies to fuck. Dies to cringe. It's actually collateral damage. Like the to name of Graves is all, but that's actually what it was. Yeah. So just oh, random shit thrown out, and he happens to fall over from it. <laughs> Dude, read this two levels down from Arma. Look at this fight. I thought that Jax would be way tankier, but... He, he did go Bork. A lot of them have been doing, like, second item frozen hard and shit. Mm. Considering how many more kills RNG has, it means it's just been armor this game. Yeah, and you can see the difference in the... Alright, Aphelio should have Sniper if he didn't dump the whole gun. the RNG side. And I think as well, like, for the RNG coaching staff, there is a lot of pressure, actually. Oh, there it is. So, what is it? Like, the background? Or, like, the... 
The background's the dark green and the dark green. Yeah. The other part's lighter green. Yeah, that looks white as fuck on the other part. But the, both parts? No, the the background I could not tell you that's green. I don't know what fucking mm. color that looks like. How do you not know what color it looks like? I just like the, what I describe color blindness is is just trouble distinguishing colors. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because it's like the, cool. it's the inability to see some shades. That's what it is. I see. I see. It just looks the same as other shit. Okay, wait, Sneaky, look at look at um the our, our second uh Discord webcam call. What what color is my underwear? Oh wait, it's oh it's pink. That's pretty cute. Wait, that's good. That's <laughs> well, what's that part on the inside? Can you pull it down a little bit? <laughs> I have a actually a, a starfish to show you. What color do you think it is? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, Gala just straight junk fucking half HP Kaisa. What the fuck? <laughs> Arma? Big chunk. Oh, the Shymut? Oh, whoa. Oh, big Galio flank. Do they both flashed in and got nothing? Leona and Galio? Yeah. Does it matter though? He actually, how is he just getting out oh. every time? Oh! Oh, oh god, oh god. Wait. Oh. Did he? Oh. It didn't hit. Dude, yeah, holy fuck, if Matt it, weren't it so whiff? fucking behind, they would be winning these fights. It just full whiffed? I don't know, it didn't look like it hit anyone, though. Did he fucking actually reddle? Oh, they get soul. Damn, I feel like Matt's playing these fights pretty decently. It's actually too weak. Aren't he fucking botched the engage? They didn't die for it. Yeah. Oh my god, Unforgiven's literally oh 1 HP. Oh my god, that was so Ming sick Ming just straight Xiao up Ming. missed. Yeah. Yeah, Xiaohu's engage was nice. Ming fucking shit the bed. Oh. Did it, it didn't hit anyone. No, it whiffed. Oh. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Huh? That was bad. It barely missed. <laughs> wow, that's weird. I guess it's because he R flashed, right? Yeah. Why can't you R flash on Aphelios? That should be a mechanic. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, seems like might be one a little that would work. Broken if you could, though, to be honest. Would it? I think it's fine. Should be fine, yeah. Yes, it would be a little OP. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When you don't go collector, do you still do armor pin second? No, or do you go attack like speed? I like attack speed hella actually. It feels so good. Hmm. I know that it's probably not optimal though. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like his armor pin just seems so strong to me. Like it's a lot of fucking armor pin for. 27, yeah. That's a lot of serrated Dirk half items. <laughs> True. Wait, oh Nisky's dead here. Oh my god. Oh wow, that counter what a game was so beautiful. Wait, is it a Penta? Up. Wait, throw down, wait, throw down, wait, down, wait, down. Is it a Penta? Is it a Penta? Penta, it's a... Oh. But for who? Who gets the Penta? Gala, bro. Bro. Yeah, that would make sense. Unforgiven got big cash money. He's actually strong. Three and a half items. Nah, bros. I think Ophelia is greater than MF. Wait, it's Gala I, well, I am like inspired to play this fucking champ now. What'd you say, Sneaky? Gala has not got a Penta yet, right? No. We played no. this game, the last game. Gala is pretty washed. She didn't get a Penta yet. True. What do you guys think's the reason for the increased popularity of like BT second? Like, the new items have been out for a while, and it's only like lately that people have been going BT second over other things. It's probably because the non-escape AD carries need it more, or the super hyper carries like Sivir and Zeri can buy a zeal item second. And like, technically, you could go 
Kraken Slayer PDIE on like Aphelios, right? It would it'd be really good damage, but like then you just don't have the buffer of like taking poke or you said you get second, chased right? down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm just curious because like you know the the champs that are building like MF and Aphelios and stuff like they've been meta with the new items before, and it's only now that they're starting to switch this like BT second thing, which looks really strong. Like dude, this is how people build an ARAM on AD carries, yeah. like second item BT, just because fucking like you're saying it's it's literally a fucking mountain soul effect. Like you just can shrug oh. off poke and it's good against the all in. Yeah, it's strong. Just less damage than other shit. Oh, sack some like... damage, get some survivability. I feel like Aphelios buying it right now is not, like, the first time. Yeah, Aphelios is play classic. I think MF has been a little weird. What is Shahu doing? He's kind of inting this. He's well, he has to. Oh. Oh, he's, like, forced to be there? Yep. Oh, he's dead. He needed to. The enemy team is pressuring so much. Even it's with Xiaohu just straight over. running it, they don't give a shit. Nope. Another whiffed ulti by Kala. <laughs> wow. What a fucking dominant performance. Dude, Armit didn't... Uh, Armit didn't have a single... Five men... Make an R ult that game. Dude. <laughs>